गिवन क्वेश्चन कोएफिशंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन ऑल कॉन्टैक्ट सर्फेसेस इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री डिटर्माइन द मिनिमम वेट डब्ल्यू टू प्रिवेंट डाउनवर्ड मोशन ऑफ वन थाउजेंड वन न्यूटन ब्लॉक Let us understand given question with the help of diagram. One thousand one newton block is placed on inclined surface and angle of inclination is alpha. If we observe this slope is defined with horizontal line four and with vertical line three. Now, from this diagram, these two horizontal lines are parallel to each other. so the angle made by horizontal line with same inclined line is also equal to alpha so we can define alpha is equal tan of alpha is equal to 3 by 4 and therefore alpha is equal to 36.8 degree now this 1001 newton block is connected with the help of rope through the passing through the disc with the other block with load w and question is we have to find out load w to prevent the motion of 1001 newton block in the downward direction now from the diagram we can say that 1001 newton block is in contact with inclined surface and it is on the verge of move verge of moving in the downward direction so we will show the motion of 1001 newton block so the motion is parallel to the inclined surface and it is in the downward direction so this is the motion now this rope is also having motion in the downward direction and the co contact surface with this disc there is the frictional force developed so this frictional force will be in the opposite direction of the motion and we will show here the direction of frictional force so this is the direction of frictional force f now we will draw the free body diagram for these two blocks as well as for the disc now we will move for the first block 1001 newton now this is the load which will act in vertically downward direction passing through the center so here is 1001 newton then the motion of this block is in the downward direction so we have to show frictional force and which will act in the opposite direction of motion now for this 1001 newton block lower surface is in contact with inclined surface and upper surface is in contact with block with load w now for the surface of contact we will use the suffix 2 for this inclined surface and the surface of contact in between block and load w we will use here suffix 1 now for this to show the frictional force in between this inclined surface and the block we have to show the opposite direction of motion and we have to use the suffix to that is f2 we have to show normal reaction which is perpendicular to the inclined surface and we will use here the suffix to that is n2 now on the upper side if we observe the same direction of the frictional force as f2 so we will show here but now this time we have to use suffix 1 so here is f1 and we have to show normal reaction and this normal reaction is known as n1 now if we observe rope is connected to this 1001 newton block and this rope is extensible so tension developed we have to show in the outward direction of the block so we will just show the direction of the tension now we have to define the tight side and slack side so we will move to the next block w so weight is w and it is in the downward direction at passing through the center so we have to show vertical line here is weight w now this load w is in contact with 1001 newton for block now for this block if we observe frictional force the magnitude is same but direction is opposite so we have to show same frictional force f1 
but we have to show opposite direction and we have to show perpendicular normal reaction as a n1 and here also rope is connected and tension is developed and we have to show tension in the outward direction now we will move to the disc now for this disc if we observe the angle of contact theta with the rope and disc if we observe it is total 180 degree so how we can define in radius that is equal to pi radians so it is by observation not mentioned in the question now if we observe for this side that is the rope section of rope in between this 1001 newton and disc the tension developed is in the outward direction and here uh, from the disc side also tension developed is in the outward direction that is magnitude is same but direction is opposite now in the same way on this block with load w tension developed here outward direction and on the disc side tension developed is in the outward direction from the disc so magnitude is same but direction is opposite now we will show the same direction of tension for the disc that is both the tensions are on the outward direction from the disc and where is the direction of frictional force now i will show here the direction of frictional force now for this side that is the side with block 1001 newton and disc if we observe here tension is in the left here is the downward direction parallel to the inclined surface and here frictional force is in the opposite direction so both are in the opposite direction so this is the tight side so this is the tight side and the opposite side that is this rope is known as the slack side because here the tension is less because frictional force and this tension both are in the same direction so tight side we have to show always with t2 so i will show here t2 and here slack side we have to show with t1 now in the same way this side is connected to the block with 1001 newton so this tension is t2 and here this tension is t1 so this point is important in case of rope friction now in the same way by observation we have to decide the angle theta and we can write the relation in between t2 and t1 t2 is equal to t1 e raised to mu theta where mu is the coefficient of friction now coefficient of friction in case of this t2 and t1 that is coefficient of friction we have to take in between this rope and the disc that is here we have to consider this mu and theta is the angle of contact in between the rope and disc and its unit is radius. To move for the calculation part we will first resolve this vertical load W as well as load of 1001 Newton in two components. First is parallel to the inclined surface and second is perpendicular to the inclined surface. Now from diagram we can see that the angle in between inclined surface and horizontal line is angle alpha. Now if I resolve this W into two components, first is parallel to the inclined surface. So we can take line parallel to tension T1 and second is perpendicular to the inclined surface. So these are the two components. Now how to decide the angle? Now if we observe this is the vertical line which is perpendicular to this horizontal line. And this component is perpendicular to this inclined surface. That means these two lines are perpendicular to these two lines making an angle alpha. So angle in between these two is also same that is alpha. So we can define this component as a W cos of alpha. Because it is nearer to the angle alpha and here W sin of alpha. Now in the same way we will resolve 1001 Newton. One component parallel to the inclined surface and other perpendicular to the inclined surface. 
So here is this 1001 Newton. Now how to decide the angle? Now if we observe the angle, uh, this is vertical line. And this vertical line is perpendicular to horizontal line. And this component is perpendicular to the inclined surface. So here also same angle alpha. So we can define here 1001 cos of alpha and here 1001 sin of alpha. Now we will consider the equilibrium of block W. So when we consider equilibrium of this block W, all the forces are parallel to the inclined plane and perpendicular to the inclined plane. So we will take summation of forces normal to plane is equal to 0. Normal means perpendicular. Now if we observe which forces are perpendicular to the inclined surface, so here is N1 and this is W cos alpha. Both are in opposite direction. So we can write N1 is equal to W cos of alpha and alpha is 36.8. So when we solve this, we will get the relation N1 is equal to 0.8 W. I will underline this. Now there is one relation in between this frictional force and normal reaction. So we know that F1 by N1 is equal to mu. Where mu is the coefficient of friction and value of mu is 0 0.29 so we can define f1 is equal to this 0 0.8 w into 0 0.29 which is equal to 0 0.24 w so f1 we will define in terms of w i will underline this now we will move for the next summation of forces parallel to the plane is equal to 0 so which forces are parallel f1 w sin alpha and t1 where t1 is in the opposite direction of this f1 and w sin alpha so we can write here as a t1 minus f1 minus w sin alpha is equal to 0 and therefore t1 is equal to now we will transfer these two minus terms to the right hand side so f1 is 0 0.24 w plus this w sin alpha sin alpha that is sin of 36.8 that is 0 0.6 so when we take w as a common term and we add if we add these two terms then we will get 0 0.84 w so this is the value of t1 so this value of t1 is also in terms of w and i will underline this now we have to take the relation in between t2 and t1 so this relation is according to law of rope of friction so we have to write here by law of rope of friction. So this word is important. Law of rope of friction. We have to write T2 is equal to T1 e raised to mu theta. Where mu is the coefficient of friction in between this rope and the disc. And it is also equal to 0 0.29. So we have to take theta that is 180 degree that is pi. So when we solve this we will put T1 is equal to 0 0.84 W. So T2 is equal to 2.15 W. So this value is also important and I will underline this. Now we will consider equilibrium of block 1001 Newton. So summation of forces normal to the plane is equal to 0. So which forces are perpendicular to the inclined surface? So from diagram we can write N2 minus N1 minus 1001 cos of alpha is equal to 0. So we can write here N2 minus N1 is equal to. So we, if we solve this then we will get 800. Now value of N1 is in terms of W. We have calculated 0 0.8 W. So we can write N2 is equal to 0 0.8 W plus 800. Now what is the relation in between this F2 and N2? So we know that by law of friction F2 by N2 is equal to mu. Therefore, F2 is equal to this 0 0.3 in bracket 0 0.8 W plus 800. And we have to simplify this. That is 0 0.24 W plus 240. Now we will move to the next summation of forces parallel to the plane. So forces parallel to plane are F1. So if we observe it is towards the right hand side. F1 plus F2 plus T2 minus 1001 sine of alpha. 
Now we have to put the value of F1 in terms of W. So we have calculated 0.24 W. Value of F2 in terms of W. That is 0.24 W plus 240. Then T2. So T2 we have calculated by law of rope of friction. So it is 2.15 W. And then we can write the value. That is we can solve this 1001 into sine of. 36.8 and we can directly write here one constant value and is equal to 0. Now if we observe here W is one unknown term and we can take the common from this equation and we can solve this. So if we solve this 1001 sine of 36.8 and move to the right hand side then we can take here W as a common term and by solving we can take we can write the value of W is equal to 136.5.